everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. Today I have one of my favorite videos that I film. I do these like three-ish times a year and it is all of the new products I have hit pan on. So I have some makeup here, mostly eyeshadows, which is kind of like very exciting for me. Um, yeah, I have nine items, nine new items that I am going to showcase to you guys. I will link down the previous videos I've done like this. Um, in chronological order so if you want to like go through you can watch them but I do project pans I also do eyeshadow roulette which is kind of like my take on pan those eyeshadows and I'm just looking to use what I have use my makeup use everything in my collection rotate through it so yeah I'm just really pleased with what I've been able to accomplish the last I don't know third of the year trimester we're gonna go with that so Let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to start with the two non-eyeshadow products and then the rest of them are all eyeshadows. So the first one is a powder. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder. I have the shade 510 Classic Ivory, which does not match me at the moment, but this matches me like, I don't know, 75% of the rest of the year. So I do have just a little sliver of pan in there. Hopefully you can tell. I hit pan on this right around the beginning of summer. So since it's been the beginning of summer and I do have actually a little bit of a tan going, I have not been wearing this powder, um, but I'm sure that this is one that I will be able to whip through pretty quickly. I do have oily skin, as you probably can tell. Please be kind, it's the end of the day. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is something that I'm just happy I have pan on. That's kind of cool. The other non eyeshadow product is a bronzer, and this is from Physicians Formula in a little palette. This is the Glow Face Palette. I got this at Target, um, and this is what it looks like. So the highlighter here has broken out, and I repressed it and then broke out again, so I just like gave up on it. But I do have pan on the butter bronzer. I have used up a couple of the butter bronzers before I really actually enjoy the formula. This one's a little bit like shimmery which is nice that's not super flat on the skin i really wore a lot of this the spring season of this year and really enjoyed it so yeah happy i have pan on this and i am sure i will come back around to finish it up and i wore it down pretty flat so when i look at this there's a lot of side pan as well um hopefully you can tell like it's pretty down there so i feel like once I get back into this bronzer, I'm using a different one right now, I will probably finish it up pretty quickly. Okay, so now I have eyeshadows to share, which is super exciting. I have seven eyeshadows that I've hit pan on since the last time I filmed this type of video. And um, I'm going to go like palette by palette. So I'm going to start with the Sultry palette from Anastasia. This is my oldest palette, so uh, it's not like officially my pan that palette or anything like that, but it's one that I like to have around. I am working on hitting pan on them and making sure it has lots of love. Since our last update, I have been able to hit pan on two more shades out of this palette, and those are Teak and Dystopian, which are right next to each other. So these two right here, they're both browns. Teak is a shimmery brown with a little bit of like a bronzy-ness to it, and Dystopian is a matte chocolate brown, which I used as liner. Maybe you can tell from my like markings there, but yeah, I have pan on these two. I also have pan on a few other shades in here. I'm working on finishing Pearl up in my project pan. So lots of action in here. It definitely is looking more and more loved. I really do love this palette. I'm pretty sad that this is discontinued because this is one that I actually would repurchase. But once I'm done with this one, I probably will look at maybe like, I don't know, the glam palette or something like that. But that's a ways to go. Um, I still got a little bit of time with this one. So yeah, two pans in here. Another palette that has pan on it is my e.l.f. Bite Size Quad. And I have the cream and sugar variety, I suppose. And I have hit pan on the first shade right here. I'm working on finishing it up. So obviously I have quite a bit of pan. But this is a matte kind of cream bone type shade. I am the type of person that sets my eyeshadow primer um, and this is what I use this kind of shade. So my goal was to go through and hit pan on all of these shades in my collection, which I did accomplish. And you're going to see some more of shades like this in my collection here. Um, and so now I'm going through and trying to finish them up. So this is one that I'm trying to finish. And um, yeah, I feel pretty confident that I'll be able to finish this up soon. It's not that deep of a pan. These aren't that big, but they're awesome quality. If you see these, like check it out because this is fantastic. It says that these, let's see here, this whole thing is 3.5 grams. So it's not even a gram per shadow, but really, really good quality. So that is one that I have pan on and I'm working on finishing. 
Another shadow I have, this one is, um, let's see here, I got this 2020, the spring of 2020, right when the pandemic was like really ramping up. Um, pandemic makeup, yay. <laughs> but this is a quad from Anastasia. I picked it up at the Springs for a VIB sale. And if you pick out four of the shades from Anastasia, you can get this little palette and pop them in. They're all magnetic. It's really convenient. So this is the palette I chose. Um, and this is the shade Pink Champagne, which I have pan on. So I'm going to try to like get in here so you can really see it. It's kind of hard because the pan is a similar shade to the actual product. So hopefully you can see that there is a little bit of pan in there. This is one that I really, really love because the shade is so versatile. I wear it all over my lid, but I can wear it with a rosy crease with a like orangey kind of really warm crease. I can wear it with a cool tone crease. It just goes with everything. Pink Champagne is definitely one of my favorite shades in my entire collection. So I'm really happy that I have pan on that because I do wear it a lot and it's nice to kind of see that reward of the shiny pan at the bottom. Okay, and then the last palette I have to show you is from ColourPop. This is the Bare Necessities palette. If you're new to my channel, this is my all-time favorite palette. I love it, love it, love it. It's still available. Um, and I've hit pan on three new shades in here. So the first one is Full Expose, which is right here. So this is again one of those matte like bone cream shades. So I hit pan on this one and then this is Tease Me and I also hit pan on this one since my last update. So these two are new. This one up here was existing, but these two are new to the palette, which is really fun and exciting. And then the last one from here is Stiletto, which is a brown down here. I use shades like this to um, line my eyes with. So what I do is I get a like flat liner brush wet with setting spray, and then I grab the like dark brown shade and I line my lids. I really, really like it. Yeah, really love that this palette now has a total of four pans in it. It's looking more and more loved. Um, and it is loved by me greatly. So I love that, you know, it shows how much effort and time I use this over other things. So those are the new pans to my collection. Like I said, I film this about three times a year. So I'll be filming this again at the end of the year. Um, I did this last December and then I did one earlier this year in the springtime. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you've hit pan on anything recently. I would love to know about it. I think hitting pan is one of the most satisfying things. I totally am the person that creeps through Instagram for like pan porn and hit pan hashtags and stuff like that. But it's just so satisfying. So that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching and um, spending some time out of your day with me. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to see more panning content from me. And that is going to be it. So thank you and I'll see you in my next one.